I'm Dave Mercer and welcome to Facts of Fishing FY. Fishing news, views, and info you can't use show. And this week, let's start stuff off with a good old fashioned, big old, freaky fish. <coughs> this catch was caught in Italy on the River Po and was caught by Italian angler Roberto Godi. It was 8 foot 2 inches long, weighs 250 pounds and 5 ounces, and potentially could be the new world record Wells catfish. I don't care if you're into catfishing or not, but this thing is gigantic. It's just a freak show. I'd love to catch it. Wow! Now let's go from giant fish to pests. And no, 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 I'm not talking about that annoying cousin that always asks you for money. This past week's mayfly hatch in Wisconsin was so thick that weather forecasters picked it up on a Doppler radar. That's right, on a Doppler radar. They didn't know what it was at first, but it was actually the mayfly hatch. That's a whole lot of bugs or pests or nastiness. Gross. <laughs> Well, we started with a, a big fish, and then we went to a big bunch of bugs, and now let's go back to some big fish. This past weekend, the BSS Elite Pros were on Kentucky Lake, and KJ, Kelly Jordan, brought in a freaky fish. He won big fish overall. How big was that fish? 10 pounds, 1 ounces. That's right, 10 pounds, 1 ounces. A legitimate 10 pounder weighed in in a bass tournament is definitely something that people are talking about. But that's not the only thing that had people talking this past weekend. There's another guy that had people talking this past weekend, too. Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Tell your friends. That's right, Kevin Van Dam. Supposedly he was on a slump. I mean, the poor guy was only sitting in 24th place for Angler of the Year. How can you live like that? Well, the KVD, that was low down the totem pole, but he weighed in 92 pounds, 5 ounces this past weekend, and won the Kentucky Lake event. Edwin Evers finished second, and his brother-in-law, Terry Butcher, finished third. But KVD's win this past weekend also comes along with some other stories. This win is his 17th on the Bassmaster Tour, putting him just two spots away from the all-time record of 19. Look out, Roland, Kevin Van Dam is coming to get ya. It also now puts him in eighth place for Angler of the Year. What does that mean? Well, with one event left, he is qualified for the postseason. The top 12 go into the postseason, and we all know what happened last year, so this could get pretty interesting. The little known stat that nobody's talking about is why Kevin Van Dam really won this past weekend. And I believe I've uncovered a pattern that nobody's been talking about. I mean, sure, he probably turned it up because it's the end of the season, he really wanted to win, he wanted to get out of that slump, all that sort of stuff. But the number one reason, what did Kevin Van Dam do last week? I told you in FY, he cooked me dinner. He barbecued out in front of Bass Pro Shops and he cooked me dinner. So I honestly believe there's a pattern there. So Elite Pros, if you want to win, just cook me dinner. That's it. That's all it takes. You, I mean, whatever. You can even just buy me dinner. Feed me and you'll win. Just saying. I mean, maybe you're not committed enough to win, but that's what it takes. Commitment. And that's what KVD has. I'm starving. Is there anything here to eat? 